bloody lot. Gone. What was she carrying? Someone in the district was expecting a large shipment of drugs. Well, some country boys do get into trouble first time in a big town. You're not Jamie, though. No, he's, he's a good bloke. All I know is that I lent the stupid bastard some money to pay his rent because they were going to kick him out, and then I find he's blowing the lot on these stupid pills. Where do you get them from? Who's asking, Jack? The cop or the mate? You ever taken drugs, Constable? No. Never? No. What are they? Your guess is as good as ours. Where'd you get this? Do you think he's been acting a little strange recently? No, no differently to normal. You think Constable Lawson would have information about this proposed rave? If you had your suspicions, you would have been better off going to me, Tess, or Bernie, rather than blundering off yourself. I did try. Not hard enough, Jacko. What's up? What do you have to do to prove that you're trustworthy? You promised me you'd fix it! I didn't it. promise you anything! Well, now like I know what you promised it easy, work, Jack. Problem? If everything goes according to plan, I'll be back with the drug stash by lunchtime. Should get Bernie off my back. We've got a problem. Jack's out there on his horse. He thought he could find where the drugs Why were. Why didn't you stop him? Jack! Look. Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Tess? He's been shot. Okay, I want four units of whole blood urgently cross matched oh. FBEs, UNEs, and hemoglobin. Is he gonna be all right? He's lost a lot of blood. It's probably an internal please, hemorrhage. Please. We won't know the extent of the damage till we open him up. Excuse me. I was trying to stop the bleeding and I couldn't. You did your best. It's all my fault. Oh, don't be silly. It is. The surgeon's doing an emergency splenectomy. His spleen was badly damaged by the bullet, so taking it out is the only way we can stabilize the bleeding. I get by without a spleen, can't he? If that's all that's wrong. What well, is it? At this stage, we're just trying to save him. It might be a good idea to contact his parents. Yeah, I've uh, already been onto the inspector at Bansdale. He's on his way over to Swift's Creek to tell him. I'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, we just sit here, do we? That's right. <laughs> I'd really rather be doing something I need to, um... <laughs> Why don't you go back out to the scene? I'm sure they could use the extra personnel. Well, really? Is that OK? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll call you as soon as he comes out of surgery. Thanks, boss. So they're operating on him now, and they can do his own. Any idea how long? Um, the boss said he'll let us know. One of the hazards of the job, eh? Yeah, it sure is. Shame. I hope he makes it. So, um, what are we doing to catch this guy? Um, we found a few things. I was well, like, what, have you guys just, searched for him, or...? Just calm down, or... Jake. Calm down, all right? We'll show you what we've got, right? Um, over here is where we think Jack was shot. Now, chances are he's got up on his horse, it's dragged him, and um, he's fallen down onto that rock down there. Any firearm casings? Not here, but um, we don't know which direction he was shot from. They could easily have picked him up. Well, if they were pros, they would have. Right, over here, have a look at this. Right, someone's been digging something up. Or burying something. The drugs. And Jack disturbed them. Maybe, and only he'll be able to tell us that. If he makes it. Now, our job today is to find whoever did this. What we're looking for specifically is evidence of firearm casings, but also anything that might identify the offender. So keep your eyes and your ears open. PJ? Thank you, Sergeant. 
Now, Team A with Sergeant Gallagher in charge will do a line search 500 metres north of this position. Senior Constable Stewart will lead Team B and they'll head south. The dog squad will do a sweep of the area in the hope of finding the offender. All right, let's go. PJ, what do you want me to do? Uh, you talk to Tess. Okay. Okay, we're going to break it up from there all the way down. So, three big Tess, and just see whatever you can find. Yeah. Am I coming with you? Ah, uh, no, no. We need someone to stay here and keep the log. Not me. I don't want to be hanging around up here if it's all happening down Somebody there. Somebody has to do it, Joe. I didn't come out here to keep the log. I came out here to find who shot Joe. Joe, you're the most junior member. So, so what? You might also not be the most objective. I'm objective. Joe, you're very upset. What? And you're not? Yes, of course I am. Are you saying I can't do the job? Look, properly? somebody has to do it, and I'm sorry it's you. We're going to find whoever did this. Mount Thomas 308 to VKC. Any update on the status of Constable Lawson? Receiving 308, nothing since your last call five minutes ago. Received VKC. Hey Matilda. Hey? Remember me? Good girl. Did you get a fight, did you? Good girl, eh? Jack isn't here right now, but I can take you home. Huh? Come on. Good girl. Hey, you can take you home? Huh? Hey, look who I found. You're supposed to be guarding the crime scene, Joe. Well, we'll just say she came up to me here. It's all muddy, the poor thing. Yeah. I thought you were searching. Uh, PJ took over. Uh, the boss has radioed for you. Is it Jack? Yeah, he's come out of surgery. Oh, can I, um... Yeah, sure. Well, what about the log? Don't, Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll take it home. Oh, go. can do now is sleep. So he's going to be all right then? Well... The operation was a success. They've removed the ruptured spleen. That stopped the bleeding. What about the bullet? The surgeon didn't want to touch it. Why not? There's a complication. I'll show you. There's the bullet. See it? Right between those two vertebrae. We don't know if it's just resting there or has actually damaged the spinal cord. Well, can't they find out? Well, the surgeon doesn't want to risk it, not without consulting Jack. So they're just going to leave it in there? It's OK for the time being, as long as it doesn't shift. Thanks. Sorry, I don't have better news for you guys. Doesn't look good, does it? No, it doesn't. Look, why don't you stay here? He's going to want to see a friendly face when he comes to. No, I really want to be in on catching whoever did this. Parrish, you don't have to feel personally responsible for this. I know, but I really need to help. Please? The bullet. Is it a twenty-two? Um, yeah, we think so. There you go. Same shooter. Well, it could be. Jake goes riding out in the same area, accidentally stumbles across the dealers, gets shot. Oh, awfully big coincidence. You got stage. a better theory? Juliet Rush delivers the drugs to someone here in Mount Thomas who shoots her because they think that she ripped him off. Well, what if that person's receiving police protection? Police protection? This is ridiculous. That person goes out to meet with the dealer to collect. They fall out. Dealer shoots him. With me? What well, our mate is in hospital, is in a critical condition, and you're trying to stitch him up. Jack I'm with Lawson you. Jack Lawson is not corrupt. Tell it to ESD, Tess. Lawson was out there. Why? Big mystery. Because he was following a lead. What lead? Why didn't he tell anyone here? Because you had him under the gun. And why did he go out to that exact spot? Because he knew what he'd find. 
Now, come on, guys. Don't stop being police officers just because he's your mate. OK. We have to consider it. No, we don't. Joe. Just laying out the facts. Right. Well, not... if you're right, th there should be some connection between Jack and the courier. Yeah, and there is none. The courier stayed at the Imperial. Jack Lawson lives at the Imperial. This is crazy. We have to check it out. PJ? All right, I'm going with you. No, you're not. Bernie. Yeah, you're investigating the missing drugs and I'm investigating the shooting. Now, it's my case. And she's coming with us. Juliet Rush? Well, she used to stay here about, oh, once a month whenever she was delivering car parts. Or was Jack a mate of hers? Do you think she had something to do with the shooting? D did you ever see them together, Chris? Oh, well, not together as such, but they were playing pool here together about... A month ago. Are you sure? Yeah, I remember, because they were winning all night, you know, against all comers. Uh, it would be a, a really big help to Jack if we could just have a quick little look in his room. No, 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 no. You, you need a warrant for that, Bernie. Are you afraid what we're no, going to find? No, you're not going to find anything. Are you sure about that, PJ? Yeah, we are. You want to look? Let's look. This is such a waste of time. Oh, after you, Constable. You don't waste any time, do you? Just doing my job, Constable. I'm loving every minute of it. For the rec record, I hope your mate's innocent. Sure. That's why we've been out to get him. Uh, I know what it's like, OK? No one wants to imagine that someone they work with could be crooked. He's not crooked. No one is above suspicion, Constable, no. You just want someone to blame for stuffing up your operation. We all know who did that. Now, aren't we a feisty one? Oh, this looks promising. What do we got here? Socks? I don't think so. Somehow. <laughs> Bingo. There has to be some explanation. The stuff was there. It's inadmissible there was no warrant. Because you insisted on buzzing him without one. Didn't hear you complaining about oh, no. it. It may have been planted. By who? Anyone could have put it in there, even you. I don't have to listen to this crap. Well, it makes sense to Constable me. Constable Parrish, that's enough. It's... You can leave us now. What is it? Bernie. You reckon he's on the level? You reckon he's not? Well, think about it. Why is he gunning for Jack? You tell me. Well, if he fits up Jack, it throws suspicion off him. I mean, he's staying at the Imperial. He could have planted that gear. It's possible, but why would he do that? Well, maybe he set up the whole hijack from the start. I mean, wasn't real keen to let us do a line search, Well, was hang he? on, hang on. That's getting pretty serious, Joe. Have you got anything to back this up? About as much as he's got on Jack. So not much? As he says himself, no one's above suspicion, are they? Look, believe me, I'd love to go with you on this, but you're going to have to get some more evidence. More evidence, evidence I know. But if we can find something, we can go to ESD before he does. Oh, surely he's not going to go to ESD at this stage. Ma'am? Tom, this is a serious matter. I hope there's nothing to these allegations. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to sort them out. Uh, thanks for coming, Inspector. Bernie? Inspector Draper, could I have a word with Parish, this isn't appropriate. Well, sure, Joe, I actually you. need you for a moment. But I want to yeah, take, don't take a minute. Let's uh, make a start. What do you think you're doing? He's just going to give her his version of events. Well, the boss is in there, Joe. He'll put Jack's case. Do you care if Jack gets fitted up for this? Of course I care. Look, I know how you feel, right, but you're going about this the wrong way. Look, now, how are you going with 22's registered in the yeah, district? Right, that's what I was doing. I'll finish it now. It's just going through the shooter's licences. Just because both bullets came from 22s doesn't mean they were necessarily fired by the same gun. Find out who shot Juliet Rush as the chance it's the same shooter. There's a lot of 22s out there. I'll narrow it down. Jamie Mitchell doesn't have a gun, apparently. But guess who has several, including a 22? David Hislop. I hardly ever use them. There's a 303. An under and over and a 22. It's a lot of guns. 
Yeah, I suppose so. I wouldn't know. I rarely have cause to get them out. I'm mostly up here on weekends. I spend the working week in Melbourne. There's one missing. Have you used it recently? No, no, I haven't used it for years. But who else has access to the cabinet? Guns. I'm not interested in guns. Well, one of your father's guns has gone missing. Isn't it in the gun cupboard? No. I've got no idea. Sorry. Haven't uh, seen it recently? No. Do you think Jamie might have borrowed it? No. He doesn't come up to the house much. He just works at the stock. Besides, Dad keeps his gun cupboard locked. Is that all? Yeah, thanks. Uh, where's Jamie now? He's around somewhere. I don't really keep track of the help. Right. Was, it, was he here this morning? This morning one of the horses got out. We had to go and fetch it. You and Jamie? Yeah, on the ATV. That's what we were doing when we saw you. So, um, how's the rave going? Mm, I cancelled it. I wouldn't want what happened to that. Oh, chocker? Yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone else. Good thinking. I mean, not that you need Ackies to have a good time at a rave. I don't, but plenty of people think they do. So whose idea was it to have it out here? It was mine. Your dad had no objection? No, I thought it was very entrepreneurial. Hey. Hey, Jamie. How's Jack? Heard on the radio. No, he's not so good. Say good day for me when you sing. I will. Oh, excuse me. Why are you here to homicide again to talk to me again? Uh, we're just uh, checking up on a 22 rifle Super missing from Mr. Hislop's gun cabinet. You haven't seen it, have you? No, no, sorry. Done. Mm. Jack's out of recovery. Uh, thank you for your time, thanks. Let us know how he is. Don't worry, mate. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Steady. Good girl. It's all right. Everything's okay now. Where have you been, girl? Huh? It's it's Joe. It's Joe here with you. You're gonna be fine. Tried to put something in his IV line. Oh, I'm by the look of it. Heroin? No, it could be. These guys get their hands on anything. You know, it's D speed, whatever. They're not the only ones with access to that stuff. Joe, did you, uh, did you recognize this album? Yeah, I think I did. Well? Can I, um, can I discuss this with you in private? You are kidding, aren't you? We don't have time for this, Joe. If you know anything, you need to tell us now. All right. I think it was one of the undercover drug squad guys. What undercover guys? Jack and I saw them at the pub. <laughs> what's, what's the story, Bernie? We haven't got any undercover operatives up here. And we certainly don't make a habit of sending them into hospitals to kill fellow members of the police force. Someone tried to kill him. That's right, to keep him quiet. No, because he found out something. Look, you won't see the truth because you've got this set against him. Sergeant? He's just got a point, Bernie. <laughs> you just can't see because you're... Protecting your mate no. here. Got... We are trying to be fair to a respected colleague. All right, all right. Joe, could you describe this bloke? Yep. He straightened it out. Let's go over this again and look at it coolly and rationally. I'm cool. Now, assuming these are the same people who shot the courier. Why would they want to shoot Jack? Because he can identify him. That's a good motive. Because he might talk. Come on, man. Look, he was trying to shake them down, okay? 
But why else wouldn't he tell anyone here what he knew unless he was trying to protect someone? Because he didn't know. He was following a hunch. You didn't know they'd be there. Oh, that for a fact, dear Constable. Jack is as straight as they come. Can't you tell when someone's honest? Been a cop too long. No one's honest. You're so cynical, you make me want right. to Time out, Joe. If I ever get as cynical as that, I will get out of the job. I am on your side, but you're making this really hard. I'm making it hard. If we're going to help Jack, we've got to prove that he's innocent. Well, we shouldn't have. Yeah, done. but we do. We've got to come up with a reason why he rode out there this morning. I must have said something when, when I took him out to the paddock or... He, when he first saw Matilda, he, he, he was bending down by her legs and he said, thought so. He was talking about Matilda again at the hospital. He said, um, yeah, where you been, hospital, girl? At or... the hospital, he was really out of it. He said, I thought so. He was bending down by her legs. Um, she was really muddy. <laughs> Maybe he thought that was some sort of clue. Like, clue to um, what? Well, she couldn't have got all that mud on her in the paddock. It was really grassy. So someone else had to have been riding her. Yep, I rode her yesterday morning. Was that before or after you were showing the other horse at the Hislops? Before. First thing, about 6.30. It's very early to go for a ride. Uh, not for me. I'm usually up at five. Whereabouts did you uh, ride in Tilda? I just took her for a bell through the forest. Not a long one. I was back at Hislops by about 7.30. Did you ride for any mud? Yep. It was a bit boggy down the gully. Look, what's this all about? Does Jack usually let you ride his horse? Yeah, of course. He lets me ride her whenever I want. It's all part of looking after her. She needs the exercise. But surely that explains the mud. If you believe Jamie. And you don't. I don't know. The point is, boss, Jack saw the mud and he thought he knew where to find the drugs. Which he did. Yeah, but how did he link the two? Well, that's what we still don't know. What if, um... Oh, it sounds pretty silly, but... Well, go on. <sighs> what if the hijackers used horses? It'd certainly explain why the searchers couldn't find any tire prints. And it would explain the mud. Mm. Uh, there's not much water out that way at this time of the year, but the only place you'd find mud would be here in the creek bed where it runs parallel to the road. There. So, they rode up the creek bed, left the horse, horses did the hijack, abducted the courier and rode away. Then buried the drugs. Mm. What we still don't know is whether they're the same people who murdered Juliet Rush. Yeah, but Bernie thinks the suppliers might be after whoever ripped them off. Where does Jack keep his horse? Uh, right here, next to his slops. Right, and he was shot here, and the hijack happened here. Same area. Well, it's not a lot to go on, but there has to be some connection. We'd, we'd better pass all this on to O'Halloran. But he'll only use it against Jack if we tell him. He is running that investigation. Well, just let me keep working on it. I can't do that. Well, look, like you said yourself, there's not much there to go on yet. I, mean, I can work out what the connection is. I there's been I a fire out at Spin Motors. Looks like Doug Healing's upset someone, eh? Yeah, first they try to knock off Jack, now it looks like they're after Healy. Any sign of him? Not so far, no. Well, when you find him, you let me know, huh? Oh, I grabbed him. Should check his house. Yeah. Dan Ryder from the CFA is going to get us a report on the fire, but it sounds like it wouldn't have taken them more than a minute to do it. What about Doug Healy? There's no sign of him at Spin Motors. And he's not at home. Someone's trashed his place. Uh, neighbours didn't see anything, though. So they bumped off the courier, they've tried to kill Jack, and now they're after Healy. But why are they after him? Local connection, Tom. The one buying the supplies. Yeah, it's possible. There's the connection with Chocker. And he'd definitely have the cash yeah, for Yeah, if he organised the drugs, I'd say he organised the hijack too. Why would he do that? Well, they could have been trying to have it both ways. Plays done with the suppliers, gets to keep the drugs, and his money. Well, if he's done that, he's underestimated the suppliers. They're out there and they're looking for their gear. So Lawson's working for Healy. Come off it. Look, he had one of your constables in his pocket before. <laughs> Only makes sense that he'd try and buy another one. Yeah, well, not Jack. Hang on. If they've killed Healy, why would they bother to burn the car? Oh, these guys don't care. No, it looks more like a warning to me. Well, then maybe Healy's hiding somewhere. Well, then why don't you run along and follow up that line, Constable? Do we have any idea who these mysterious suppliers might be? Uh, we're not exactly sure, Tom. <sighs> Do we? Look, we think it might be a guy called Frank Rayner. We had him under surveillance in the city. 
Do we have a description? You already know more information than I'm all through. Give it up, tell. Bernie. That's him. That's the guy that went after Jack in the hospital. It might have helped if we'd seen this earlier. All right, let's get out there and circulate that description. Motels, hotels, these guys have got to stay somewhere. Yeah, there was someone who booked in. It was a bloke. What was his name? Oh, Ron Gordon, something like that. Is this him? I didn't book him in, Sam did it. There was just the one bloke, there weren't two. Just one name in the book, but it wouldn't be the first time someone's doubled up. Is he still here? Well, he hasn't come down since I've been here, but uh, he might still be up there. Let's check it out. Room seven. Okay. Police! Open up, please! I don't know where these two guys got no, the idea that I'd stolen their drugs. Really? Look, what was I supposed to do? They said they were going to kill me. Same as they did to the woman at the picnic ground. Oh, they told you that. Didn't they? Oh, they, they told me. me. Yeah, well, you, That's you, how I found you it. You told me that you uh, wanted to take the scenic route and you decided to stop for a leap. Well, what else was I going to say? So it's all just a big mistake, is this, Mr. Yes, of course it is. These guys have got the wrong person. Yeah. Now, look, I'm, I'm cooperating here. I'll, I'll help you however I can, but I, I, need, I need protection. I wonder why these guys just happen to think that Doug Healy had stolen their drugs. Yeah, he's got to be involved somehow. Oh, he's always been slippery. He did seem genuinely terrified. Doug Healy is smart enough to tell you just enough of the truth to get you believing the lie. His description matched Frank Rayner. Right, OK, so the same guy who heavies Doug Healy mm. tries to go for Jack in the hospital. Why? What is that? Yeah, but you? unfortunately it all fits into Bernie's theory that the supplies are trying to shut up Jack. But nobody believes that theory, Jack. Yeah, well, why is Monica Draper still sneaking Because around? an allegation has been made and she's got to follow it up. In this? Hmm. Genius at work. Told you, he still thinks Jack's at the centre of all this. Well, he's a detective and it's his job to follow up every line of inquiry. Are you just going to stand by and let this happen? There's nothing we can do. We've got to let Bernie follow out his investigation. It's not set in concrete. Looks pretty concrete to me. He's already made up his mind as if it was obvious. And he's so focused on that, it, he's got his eyes closed to all the other clues. Such as? Oh, like this. I mean, this is what should be at the centre of his diagram. Come on, Joe, I've told you everything I know. The sticker means there's a rave coming up, right? Yeah, a country rave. Well, nobody in the city uses smiley faces anymore, but they're a bit slow to catch on out here. Well, that's all it means. It's like the bat signal. You see it and you ask around, find out more details. And you did ask around, didn't you? What did you find out? That it was going to be held at the Hislop place, right? Yeah. What else? Look, I don't want to get anyone into trouble. Someone is already in trouble, Ro. Jack Lawson's been shot. What? Look, we know there has been a supply of ease into town, and we know they may be toxic. Now, if there's anything else you know, you need to tell me. Well, the word was that you didn't have to bring any ease to the rave. Why not? It was all being provided. Provided by who? The organisers? That's the weird part. Nobody knew. Where'd you hear about this? Stephanie Hislop mentioned it. She said Trevor Block told her. Chocker? Yeah. Stephanie knew him? Yeah. Steph, Jamie and Chocker were all hanging out at the rave together. Thank you very much, Romy. Thank you. Another thing? Whoever was supplying the drugs, they intended to give them away. Free drugs. Now, there's a marketing strategy. So how did you find this well, out? Rowie. And not only that, Stephanie, Jamie and Chocker are all very friendly, apparently. I reckon three of them were in this together. That makes sense. They could have set out on horseback from the Hislop place. 
So how come we know this and he doesn't? He's been so busy going after Jack that this investigation has hardly moved in. Hang on, Joe. How is it that I found out about the link between Chocker and Stephanie and he didn't? Think about it. Bernie has barely turned up a thing in this whole investigation. We found the stickers, we found the pills. Jane, now, either Jane. he is incompetent or he's got something to hide. Would you like to repeat that, customer? Why well, repeat it? You heard me? I just thought you might like to say it in front of Inspector Draper. More than happy to. Good. Joe, this is not a good career move. Oh, Inspector, sorry to interrupt. But Constable Parrish would like to have a word with you. Well, Constable, what's so urgent? I have reason to believe that Detective Sergeant O'Halloran may be involved in the hijacking of these drugs. That's a very serious allegation. You'd better come in. Sit. Parrish, what the hell do you think you were doing out there? I'm right. I know I am. It was just a hasty remark, ma'am. We're all a bit on edge at the moment. I'm sure she didn't mean it. Yes, I did. I mean every word Parrish. of it. Parrish. There's a procedure for making allegations against another member. I know. And blurting them out in a public forum is not part of that procedure. So, what evidence would you like to table? I don't have any as yet, but there is a... No evidence. No. Then I suggest you drop this and stay right away from this case. But you don't understand. No. Understood. Understood. Mount Thomas 358 to Mount Thomas 208. 208 receiving. Where are you, Joe? On patrol. Just where are you patrolling? OK, I'm at the Hislops. I have to talk to Stephanie. She knows more than she's telling us. Come on, Sarge. The only way we're going to clear Jack is to solve Bernie's case for him. Look, stay there. I'm only five minutes away. We'll question her together. We're in enough trouble as it is. Stephanie. What happened? Look, they must have said something. Was it drugs? Did they mention drugs? They did, didn't they? Yes, all right, they did. Now, will you give me the Any keys? Any idea where they may have taken it? She said something about the pits. Pits? What pits? I don't know. There are mine workings all around here. Give me the keys. Look, don't be stupid. What are you going to do when you find them? I have got to do Look, something. I can't let you do this. We'll handle it. All right, we'll find her. Now, come with me. Mount Thomas 2 no, no. I've got C. Stephanie. Uh, what? They think she's got those where some drugs are hidden. Look, any idea where they're... Hey. Jamie, these people are dangerous. Hang on. I'll explain in a minute, OK? Mr. Hislop, stay there. After him. After him now. Jamie, Jamie's heading west on Black Gully Road. Looks like he knows where they were heading. Stay on him, 358. What's going on? What's going on, 358? He's veered off into the bush. Yes, There's no way we can follow him. Receive that, 358. Suggest you break off and return to the Hislop farm where Detectives Hashem and O'Halloran will meet you. Receive 900. Any idea where he was heading? Hislop said something about pits. Would that be old mines? Pits? There's no mines, but there's those gravel pits here, Go. here and here. Uh, th there are no mines, but several gravel pits to choose from. Do you think he might have meant gravel pits? Are any of them near the mud you pointed out? Yes, and uh, look, uh, go in about half a k. There's a fire track. Uh, take that and head north.
most of it anyway. Is this all of it? Yes. Sure? Except for the view that Joker took. So more like he took a few too many. No, it was all his idea. Yeah? You seem more like a brains to me. No, <laughs> it was stupid. We didn't want to give it away. For free? How generous. Pity it wasn't yours to give. But we didn't know there'd be that much. Do you think you could knock off out here and just walk away? Do it. No! <laughs> Police, don't move! Police, don't move! Put the weapon down! Put the gun on the ground! Now! Put the gun Put on the, the ground! Down. Get on the ground! Put your face on the ground! Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> this one's dead. You okay, Stephanie? Yeah. Take a seat there and don't go anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Hit. Back off. Give me the gun. You can't do Jamie that. Jamie Mitchell's got a gun. I wouldn't do that. Hands up. Now give me your gun. Okay, smart ass shot over there. Big throw, go on. Now you. What are you doing? Are you crazy? This is our chance. Get the stuff. No way, it's over. The guy's dead. Come on, Steph. We can still get away. No, you can't. Drop the weapon now. It's all over, Jamie. It's finished. I'm Come on, not Jamie. Going Be to sensible. Jail. She's right. Shut up. Get the stuff. We agreed, Steph. No, we didn't. I never agreed to anything. What are you talking about? Get the stuff. Just do what he says. What are you doing? Are you crazy? That's money. Pick it up. Pick them up yourself. Take them. This is your last warning. Put the weapon down now. No, you put the gun down or I'll shoot her. Okay. Stretch. It was Jamie all along. You guessed that, didn't you? I just followed your clues, you know, the mud and everything. I shot him, Jack. He had a gun and I shot him. It wasn't meant to be like this. It was all just supposed to be a bit of fun. Fun? You know, we thought free drugs were the people. So you didn't know who was bringing the drugs in then? Well, no, not really, but Jogger knew that they were going with Juliet. You knew Juliet Rush? No, Jogger did. Did we get her killed? If they hadn't hijacked the drugs, Juliet Rush would still be alive. Mm. Not to mention Plugger Smith. Who? The guy Jamie shot. So how did Jamie and Stephanie know that the ecstasy would be coming and which way? Doug Healy wanted Chuck to organise some people, right, to flog the ecstasy at the upcoming rave. And then the kids wised up because they found out about Juliet's business arrangement with Doug Healy. So they decided to use horses to pull off the hijack. With Jamie borrowing Jack's horse. Fancy themselves as modern-day bush rangers or something. Stephanie reckons your mate Jamie planted the drugs in your room when they realised what a hornet's nest they'd stirred up. I was happy for you to take the flak from the heavies as well as from us. So, mate... You must have had some suspicions about him. I knew he'd borrowed my horse. If I didn't realise why. Or how much they were involved. 
couldn't believe it when I found them digging up the drugs container. What do you think you're doing? You're out of your minds? Just walk away, Jack. You don't want to know. And then he pulled a gun. He threatened you? No. No, not immediately. He uh, tried to convince me to walk away. Mate, have you any idea how much this shipment's worth? Are you crazy? The drug squad have got this whole operation under surveillance. You'll never get away with it. <laughs> we could make it worth your while. He tried to bribe you. Yeah. He told him I couldn't do it. Then he told me to just forget I'd seen him. No. I'm a copper. What are we gonna do? Shut up! We'll get down for Trevor King! Richard, you can't! Stop, no. Stop, Jack! Or I'll shoot! No, you won't. You're a mate. chance to say this yet, Joe, but um, thanks for saving my life, basically. No problem. Besides, if I'd let them shoot you, he'd give me a hard time, eh? <laughs> Special message for you, Jacko, from Bernie O'Halloran. An apology, I hope. No, not exactly, but he did say he thought you were a fine young copper. Is that all? What a bastard. Gee, thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, you try and catch up on some rest, eh? We'll see you soon. You look after yourself. I suppose you want me to cancel squash this week, eh? <laughs> Next week, you're on. See you, See you. See you. Come. Yeah, in a tick. I can't move my legs. <laughs> 